Hello, my dear students. Watch and listen in this video and then answer the questions, right? This story is about Emily Person and Emily says, pay attention. I want to talk about beating stress today. You know, life here in Hong Kong is very stressful. So I think today topic is very useful for everyone because we can do something about it just to cope with the stress. So maybe you have some changes in your life, maybe big change and a small change. But instead of being afraid, I think you should have, you should have a positive attitude and think of change as a normal part of life. I think maybe here in Hong Kong, the family are crowded into a very small housing space. So maybe you will sometimes argue with your family in, I think, trying to resolve the disagreement with people is very important because then you can build strong relationships and keep commitments you have made. For example, sometimes maybe you are feeling alone and you want to make so comfort. And I think you can ask the people you trust for help is very important. Because if you have a bunch of friends, they can listen to you. Then you can release some stress through talking to them. Well, and do you know that actually I find a very funny things that if you want to reduce some stress, you can reduce by this by the word stress. That is a stress. How about, let's begin with the S, the letter S, I think letter S is the, is that you can have the scheduling. For example, you don't have to, shouldn't schedule too many things in your day. And if you feel you are too busy, you can cut out an activity, one activity or, or two. And how about the T word? The T word is treat your body well because expert says that exercise can reduce stress. And also if you eat healthy food, then your brain and your body get the nourishment they need. And the word, the word R, the next word is R. R is very important. It says relax. You can do an activity you enjoy or that relaxes you. Maybe you can read a good book or learn a new hobby and spend time with your pet or even you can visit a spa and that could make a very good difference. And for me, I like to play piano. When I feel stressed, stressed I sometimes I may just watch some movies that make me laugh a lot. And the next word is E is about expectations. And I think be realistic about yourself is to be true to yourself and others. So you can just do your best and don't try to be perfect and don't expect others to be too. Because that will release and reduce a lot of stress for you and the people around you. And next word is S. S is a stand for sleep. And I really, really love to sleep. To be honest, that's my hobby. I think because sleep, if you get a good night's sleep, then it, it will keep your mind and your body in shape. An expert says if you sleep more than seven hours, you will actually get tired. So don't sleep too much in the day. Just sleep it when you feel enough. And the last word is is again. 
I go to this action. The is where is smile. If you smile and have confidence, your attitude and your thoughts influence the way you see things. And if you are a negative person, you can actually learn to think in a more positive way because that makes you feel more comfortable when you are coping with the stress. And finally, I think we should take action and apply these tips to your life so everyone can beat stress every day. Thank you, guys, and answer the next questions, right? Good luck.